G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is how to multiply fractions together. So I'm going to start out with some pretty easy examples. Uh, I'm going to use these examples to explain how to do it. And then we're going to move into some harder examples and then uh, some ones that you can try on your own. So without much further ado, uh, now the type of thing you'll be multiplying when you multiply fractions is as follows. You might get, say, something like one that looks like this at its most simple. So say a half times three quarters. Now, what this actually means is a half of three quarters. So we're going to get a smaller answer here. So you might be able to think of half of three quarters and you might be able to think of what that is. But I'm going to show you how to do this mathematically. So the way we do this is as follows. Basically the top numbers here and the bottom numbers here. Um, so what we've got is a numerator denominator. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to multiply the two top numbers together to get our first part of the answer, our two bottom numbers together to get our bottom part of the answer. Okay, so 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8. So our answer is 3 eighths, and that's how easy they are. Uh, now, I'll go through another example, and I'll show you how I used to remember this as a kid. When I wasn't sure of this, I remember my bigger brother coming home and telling me that what it, what, what it was was a half times a half, and I remember him telling me what it was, and I, that, that actually stuck with me, because I always thought it was very strange at the time until you sort of think of why that is. But if we work out what half times a half is, one times one is one, and two times two is four. And I remember this as a really little kid thinking how strange this was, that half times a half is giving me a quarter. This is like a, a smaller answer. I thought, surely it's one, isn't it? But that would be half plus a half. If we could think about this half of a half, if I could imagine, say, a, a pizza here, and we have half this pizza here, well, we have our section here, which is a half, but if we then cut that in half again, a half of a half, we're going to end up with a quarter. Okay. So hopefully that, that might be a way that you might remember how to do that. So I'm going to give you another example here. So you might try this one on your own. Say let's do what is three quarters times, uh, what about two thirds? Okay. Give that a go. Alright, hopefully you're going to pause it if you still need a bit of time, but I'm going to go through the answer right now. So 3 times 2 is 6, and then 4 times 3 is 12. And you're going to see that we can actually take this down even further, because there's a number that goes into both our denominator and our numerator, to both our top and our bottom number, and this common number that goes into both of them is 6. So 6 goes into 6 once, and 6 goes into 12 twice. So this is the same as a half. Okay, how did you go with that? Alright, now I'm going to put a couple of harder examples up. Okay, so the, the examples I'm going to put up now are involving mixed numbers. Now mixed numbers are numbers that look like this. So we have something like, say, two and a half, and I'm going to times that by three and one quarter. Now to multiply this is all of a sudden a bit more difficult, but not much more difficult. It just requires one extra step. And what, to do this, what we have to do is we have to actually change our number here into it. This is a mixed number, so it has a mix, it's got a, a, a whole number and a part number, so it's called a mixed number, into an improper fraction. Now these are proper fractions, but an improper fraction would be one where this, this number up here, on the top number, is bigger than the bottom number. So I'll show you how to do this at its most simple. Because there's, now the easiest way to do this is, this is two, we, the bottom number stays the same, then 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5. Now I'm just going to show you conceptually why this works, well, an idea of why this works. If I was to draw 2 and a half, so there's my 2 and a half, okay? You might be able to count how many halves there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? There's two lots of 2, this is our 2 times 2 part, which is this part, plus 1, which is this one here, and this is giving us our top number. And there's 5 halves, okay? Our bottom number, which is a 2, these are halves, okay? So this is where we end up with 5 over 2. The easiest way to do this is you keep the bottom number the same, so the 2 stays the same, and then we go 2 times 2, because there's 2 lots of these, plus 1, okay? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so using that same idea, so we're going to get 5 over 2, and I'm going to multiply that, we're going to change this one here, same way, 3 times 4 plus 1, so 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, the bottom number stays the same. Okay, what does this equal? So 5 times 
times 13 to get our top number? What do you think the answer to that is? Okay, hopefully you get 65. Okay, and this is going to go over 8. Alright, how did you go with that particular question? We can change this a little bit further now, because what you might look at is you might say, well, 65 over 8, you don't, might not like that because this number here is bigger than this number here, so we can actually change this back into a mixed number. And the way we do this is as follows. This 65 over 8. Okay, this, um, I'm going to probably pronounce it the wrong way, this line here, um, I'm pretty sure it's called a, a vin curvum, but I'm, I'm wrong with this. I actually think of this as this divide. So this here is, means 65 divided by 8. So 65 divided by 8, what did you get for what? What do you get for that? So 65 divided by 8, the answer to that is 8, because 8 8 to 64, and there is 1 left over. So this 1 we put over 8, so we have 1 8 left. Okay, you're going to notice this bottom number here stays the same, and the 1, the remainder part of our 65 divided by 8 goes up here. Okay, let's chuck another example here, and then I'm going to give you a whole bunch to do by yourself. So what about I do this one? Um, what about I do one and a half and I'm going to times that by, what about we times that by two and a half? Okay. So first off we're going to change these into improper fractions, these mixed numbers. So one times two plus one is three. So three over two times two times two plus one. Two times two is four plus one is five. Bottom number stays as a 2, and then we just multiply straight across. So four, 3 times 5 is 15, and 2 times 2 is 4. And we can take that to the next step, because 15 divided by 4 we can do. 15 divided by 4, this goes 3 times, because 3 4s are 12. And, oh, sorry, that, I think I just had an email come through. And uh, we have 3 left over. Okay, so 3, and we're going to put that over 4. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of examples to go on with this. Hopefully you did pretty good with that. So I want to go out a couple of examples. Uh, okay, so let's give you, I'm going to give you three examples here. And these are they. What I'm going to start with a nice easy one, which is going to be, what is 2 over 3 times 5 over 7? Okay, 5 seven, not a commonly used fraction. Look, I, I tend to prefer to use the quarters and the, the halves and the thirds and that sort of deal. But let's let's get out there. Um, so we might do another one, which I'm going to do, which is 1 and a quarter, and I'm going to times that by 2 and 1 third. Let's see how you go with that. And then the last one we're going to do is I'm going to get you to do 2 and a half, and I'm going to get you to times that by 3 and 3 over 4, 3 quarters. Okay, let's see how you go. So pause the video, give them a go, and then we'll come back. Okay, hopefully you pause it, and let's see how you go. So I'm going to work through them now. So 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 7 is 21. And there's not a number that goes into both of those, so that's our answer, 10 over 21. Okay, this one here, 1, these are mixed numbers, so we're going to have to change those into improper fractions. So 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5 over 4 plus 2 times 3 plus 1, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over 3, and then I multiply these straight across. Oh, I've got a plus in there, I don't know why I'm plusing. This is in fact a times. Okay, let's make little mistakes every now and then, aren't we? As long as we fix them up as we go. So, 5 times 7 is 35, and this is times 4 times 3, which is 12. Okay, and so 35, this goes in 2, there's 2 12 to 24, and there is 11 left over, 11 over 12. Okay, how'd you go with that? Alright, let's do this last one. So let's change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 over 2. And this one here is going to be 3 times 4 plus 3. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3 is 15 over 4. Let's times these across. 5 times 15. The answer to that is, what did you get for the answer to this? Hopefully you're going to get 5 times 15, which is 75. 
and then 2 times 4 is 8. So 75 divided by 8 equals what? Okay, so I reckon we need to go to 9 eighths of 72, so it equals 9, and there is 72, so there's 3 left over. 3 over 8. So hopefully that's the answer you got. So let me know how you went with those. Um, hopefully you're really, really good. And we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.